Hi, welcome back to Bransford Webs. So the weather's warmed up over the last week, still quite showery, but um, good um, sort of growing weather actually, and loads of stuff is starting to move on the nursery with those nighttime temperatures increasing, a little bit more sunshine during the day, and um, yeah, better daytime temperatures. And that one looks to get better as we go into next week, where we're looking at some mid to high teens and uh, some nice bright spells as well. So hopefully, it's um, gardening season here we come. So as you can see, things are starting to grow. The crop behind me here on Willow is um, the Dicentra Valentine crop. Um, it's just starting to poke its nose through. A week ago, there was one or two leaves poking out there, so that's really coming on quickly now and um, developing fast. But we'll shoot straight on now to what's looking good this week. We've put loads of um, herbaceous um, lines on and a few shrubby lines, all with bud, all with colour, all doing their thing. So if we do the shrubby lines, first of all, so we have put our um, Hamia Sister Sochii online, which is a three litre crop. It's overwintered, it's grown cold under one of these tunnels, um, so it's had all those minus whatever we've had through the winter months on it. And as you can see, it is just a mass of bud, and those buds are swelling by the day, and the first flowers are just starting to come out. And to go alongside that, we have our Hellenium Libonatus as well, which is doing exactly the same. The buds are a little fatter on here and absolutely massive, but because it's overwintered in this cold environment, we get this lovely tight habit plant, lovely dark, lush foliage ready to go out in the plant area, ready to go out in people's gardens and perform well straight away. And then from that it's onto herbaceous lines really, so our Aqualegia Spring Magics are online now, so it's a one litre crop, um, we've got four different colour breaks in here, so you get your blues, your reds, your pinks and your whites, um, all bicolour varieties, and um, yep, yeah, loads of bud on there, more coming through from the base, lovely fresh foliage, they go out in trays of eight. Um, while we're talking about aquilegias also, um, one of my favourite aquilegias is aquilegia winky. It's just absolutely stunning. You can see, you can see obviously loads of bud in there, um, so in a few weeks time or a few um, days time there'll be colour on there. But you can see the sort of double flowers of aquilegia winky. Absolutely stunning, really good garden plant. Performs well, comes back year after year in the garden. Then back to a couple of one litre lines, um, again for colour. We've got Phlox McDaniel's Cushion, lovely pink. Um, Vibrant pink colour there, loads and loads of bud on there as well. Nice compact, great front of the border, rockery sort of plant. And then we have Phlox Candy Stripes, um, sort of the, the original promotional Phlox, I suppose. Um, with that lovely pink and white flower, as you can see, well, I'm not going to count them, hundreds of buds on there. Within a week, that's going to be a mass of colour in the plant area. And then we have Namisha Confetti. So this is a hardy Namisha. And actually this is confetti improved if I can speak properly. So we've dropped the original Namisha confetti completely now. We've moved it completely across this improved strain. So what's new about it? What's improved? Um, so it's got a larger flower. It's more compact in its habit. It's got a lusher green foliage, but it maintains that hardiness. So I've got this plant in a drift in my garden. It's been through all those winter um, snowfalls. We've had three, four lots of snow on it. Um, minus eight, nine, tens through the winter and it's coming back lovely in the garden at the moment. So it proves it is truly hardy, really good variety, great in containers, great in the border, and it's got a nice scent to it too. Talking about scent as well, we've also got Arisum Fragrant Sunshine. So you saw Golden Jubilee last week, that's got loads of small yellow flowers. Well this has got masses of deep yellow flowers as well in it. Lovely dark foliage, lovely tight habit again. It's been overwintered under a tunnel like this, so it's grown as cold as cold can be and it is um, yeah, really hardy, really nice plant and great shelf life with loads of bud and flower coming through. And then something a little bit different, so a new promotion for us here at Bransford this year. And this wasn't any brochure, um, so this is our Calcellaria collection. There's actually three varieties, I only picked two up off the beds. So this is a new strain of Calcellarias, it's been bred with a little bit more hardiness to normal. So they're not going to survive a winter like we've just had, but they're the same sort of hardiness as Sonetti, so they'll get a mild frost they'll stand and as you can see they're loaded in bud just starting to show colour absolutely fantastic chunky two litre plants something that's going to be completely different for your customers out there they may have seen them in bedding packs and things like that but to get a chunky plant of this size as something you can put in the garden in the container um, absolutely fantastic really nice um, three different colour breaks so you get deep reds through to yellowy oranges um, and just wonderful. So that's our new Calcellaria collection. Um, if you give the girls in the office a call, and um, they'll be happy to take your orders. And um, any questions you've got, just shout up. But until next week, have a good week in the garden centre. See you soon.